What's up my beer and bros? Sorry for the late zero video upload. Usually I upload these right around 5, 6 a.m. So you can get them as early as they come out. Because Zer obviously comes early. Now, he is in the Tower North today. And I just want to say, if you are new to this channel and you're watching Zer just for the Zer content, then please check out my Horizon Zero Dawn content. It doesn't have to be every video, just check one out, see if you like it, it'll help the channel a lot, and it'll help it make it grow, and it'll help me make future content and know what to make when it comes to stuff like that. I now, as for Zer, an of the nine. he has actually a pretty decently good loadout this week. He has the Legacy Heavy, in case you need um, the old super good advice, then again I can't think of any like old heavies that you would need that aren't out right now you got the ACD slash O feedback fence great titan gauntlet for crucible because let's say you go to punch someone and they're on that last fleck of health natural instinct in crucible if you're familiar with crucible is to punch back but if you're on a fleck of health and you punch back you're gonna die then there's the Graviton Forfeit. It grants Shade Step so you don't have to waste the perk tree on that on your Hunter. Now it doesn't seem like much, but it helps. And the Shields Regen perk, that's also good. Bonus Super Energy on a Grenade Kill, that's also good. I'd say that's slightly more of a PvE helmet. And this one. This one could be a Crucible, a PvP, or a PvE chess piece for a Warlock. Because not only does it have 130 discipline, it's not even maxed out at 400 yet and already has 130 discipline. But when Radiance is active, as you can read, increased agility and decreased ability cooldowns. Now what that means for like PvP is boom, just grenades, boom, grenades all over the place, all over the place grenades. Or you just fucking revive and you melee grenade, melee grenade, melee grenade, just, just insane. Same thing kind of goes for PvE, if you're like, let's say in a Nightfall and you can't be rezzed or whatever, your last one alive. Boom, you rez, boom, clear out some ads, just boom, grenade, grenade, melee, melee, grenade, melee, grenade, melee, melee, grenade. It's, it's fun. Also, you have the Thunderlord, which goes with the, um, the weapons I have currently. The Abaddon and the Nova Mortis. It's one of the OG weapons. It's fun to use. It starts out firing slightly slow and then it goes faster and faster and faster and it becomes crazy. It used to be so unique. It was just fun to use during like arc burn and shit like that. But now there's other elemental ones so it's still fun. It's actually a pretty decently good crucible weapon too if you can get heavy. So if you don't have an exotic on your own primary or special. Try using this once or twice. It's actually kind of fun. And then as standard, he has the glass needles, three coins, heavy ammo, the stealth drive coil, plasma drive coil, motor light, and exotic shard. Now, what's so special about here. today is that today is the last Zer day until that new update comes up with the raid challenges and everything like that. And all the new armor and all the new exotic style weapons from the raids and everything like that. And trust me, once that update comes out, I'm going to be putting up the new Daybreak Nightfall, stuff like that. It will be a lot more Destiny content when it seems a little fresh. It might not last a while, but at least for a little while there will be more content. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.